Broadcasting from the Gaylord Rockies Resort in Denver, Colorado, Solutions Review is on location at Commvault Go 2019. Brought to you by Commvault. It's Doug Atkinson back here, day two of uh, Commvault Go. We are in the Expo Village. It's a customer conference, uh, and we are lucky now to be joined by a customer. Uh, and that's Paul Furlan, who's system administrator for Herbalife, which is a global nutritional brand. Thousands of customers, millions of distributors, and lots of complexity. And you're right in the middle of it, and so I'm glad you stopped by because we want to hear directly from folks that are using Commvault and dealing with data issues, what they're faced with, what keeps them up at night. So tell us a little bit about your experiences so far. How long have you been uh, with Commvault? Well, first of all, thank you for having me, Doug. It's a pleasure to be here. We've had Commvault at the company for a little over 10 years now. I joined about seven years now. And well, it's been a great experience to use Commvault for our backups. And so, so this type of event, you get to you get to certainly hear a lot of uh, of stories and get a lot of feedback from other customers. How are you using it? And what are what would you be telling you know other folks that you might run into about your experiences? Well, first of all. I've met a lot of people from all over the world. That's a great experience. And we've all shared our knowledge regarding the, for example, most of us use disk libraries as our primary backup uh, to, to manage the primary copy of the backups. And we've all talked about the different vendors that we work with and the, the service they provide and what we can expect if we move from one solution to another. Another thing I really liked about this place is that there's a lot of things that you can learn from, a lot of sessions. I'm particularly more interested in automation and workflows. So if you go around this place, you can find me in most of those sessions. And well, yeah, it's a really good place to learn and get to know upcoming trends. So I'm curious about that. We've, we've had a few conversations about automation. Tell me a little bit about how, how automated workflow might benefit you in your daily life? What I'm trying to do right now, the, my first objective with workflows is going to be to automate the patching of our media agents because we have, I think, over 30 or 40 media agents. So you can imagine the, the hassle it is to wait for all the ones that have DDoP databases to wait for it to go down, for the patches to be applied and then we can reboot the server finally and also suspend the backups if they're running at that time. That's interesting. So, um, and so right now, is that, a manual, uh, is that a manual process that you have to go through? Yeah, it takes me about two or three hours. I imagine if I complete that workflow, I could do it in just five or 10 minutes. So, interesting. Yeah, I'm looking forward that's, that's to that. That's the kind of information you need. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> that's yeah. good. And I'm really amazed. There's this company that shared the session and they have over 750 workflows now. Is that right? So yeah, there's a lot to learn. Yeah, right. Uh, and so you've been working on the on the system uh, on uh, with Commvault for uh, for seven years. Seven years, yeah. and you're using Commvault in uh, so it's being used globally. But you're responsible for North America and Asia Pacific. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, we manage all the backups for United States, Canada, Mexico, and all of South America. We have Costa Rica there, Chile, Ecuador, Peru. Those sites are remote sites, so we, ha we have tape libraries, blind tape libraries, where local IS has to step in and replace the library every day for the backup. It's kind of complicated, and I'm learning about solutions on how we can replace that either with Robo, Remote Office, Branch Office Appliance, or with Cloud. And we're looking forward to that because it's uh, also a pain point for us. So now everything's on-prem? Yeah. And you're starting to look at Cloud? Yeah, definitely. We're looking for the next step. And I'm learning a lot of things for that here. Right. So I'm curious, uh, as, as people are thinking about you know, getting to the next level with uh, the solutions that they're using and maybe thinking about you know, a, a, a more of a next-gen solution like a Commvault, what advice would you provide to folks that are, 
that are similar to you in, in, in positions where they might not have the same set of tools that you have access to, you know, what would you advise them in terms of how to think about selecting a, a new vendor? Well, first of all, you can get in touch with the Commvault team. They're really helpful. I went to my Meet the Expert session j just yesterday, and I had a few questions that got really cleared up. So getting in contact with the backup team, with the in this, in this case, the Commvault uh, vendors, is a great idea. Also coming to places like this and networking with other people. Everyone I've talked to has has explained how their environment works and I've gotten some good ideas and I've given them feedback on my experiences it's it's great so coming to a forum like this or getting in touch with Commvault is a great way to do that to find so, that out. So plans for 2020 for you are, uh, are getting some of those automated workflows in yeah, place? Yeah definitely and I'm really looking forward to getting rid of those tape libraries because they're a pain and <laughs> they're a really they're a pain point yeah. That's good that's good. Well, we appreciate the, uh, the, the very uh, specific user feedback that you offer uh, everybody that's watching this. Uh, that's the kind of insight that uh, our audience appreciates. Thanks very much for making some time and swinging by today. All right. Thank you very much for having me. It's Thanks. a pleasure. Thanks, Doug.